the easiest way to install Stable Diffusion on your computer is by using the one-click installer by CMDR2. It makes the whole process insanely easy to do. I'm going to show you the installation in Windows, as that's the operating system I use, but you can find clear install instructions for Linux on the download page as well. Okay, so simply download the file you need by clicking on the link in the description and choosing your operating system. You'll get a compressed file that you will need to extract. You can use a tool like WinRAR or 7zip to extract it. Now it's important that you extract it to a top root level folder such as your C drive or your D drive if you have one. So your folder will look something like this. In the folder you'll see a text file that tells you how to install and run it. Basically, for both, you simply need to run the start stable diffusion ui.cmd file. The first time you run it, it will install all of the other files you need. Every time you run it after that, it will check for updates and then start the tool. Let's install it. Once you've run the file, after a few seconds, it will give you a warning to make sure that you have your folder in the right place. If you do, then simply press any key to continue. Otherwise, close the window and move your folder to the right place. It will take a while to install depending on your internet speeds, so you'll need to be patient. When it's done, the browser window will open automatically. This is what you'll see from now on every time you click on the Start Stable Diffusion UI.cmd file. You have a space to input your prompt here, or you can upload an example image to start with. Under Advanced Settings, you can choose Fixed Faces and Eyes in Images and Upscale your images. These features are all pre-installed. You can also choose the number of images you'd like to create and their sizes. You can also run your prompt in CPU mode if you don't have a good graphics card. This will take a very long time, so I don't recommend it. Under image modifiers, you can choose from a list of style ideas to add to your image. There are drawing styles such as cell shading and sketches. You can also choose artist styles and CG render styles, etc. It will automatically add them to your prompt when you click make image. It's also great for giving you some ideas for prompts when you get stuck. But remember, if your graphics card can't handle stable diffusion and you prefer to run it in your browser, then check out our video on how to do that in the description. And that's it. That's the easiest way to install stable diffusion locally on your PC. See you next time.